10 insects that belong in an alien world. It's easy to forget sometimes, but nature is full of wonders. There are more than 1 million different species of insects on the planet that we know of, which accounts for over half the world's living organisms. So yeah, some of them are bound to be pretty strange, freakily strange, so strange in fact that you'll probably want to forget they exist once you find out about them. Unfortunately, this is Stunning Fives, and strange is what we do. Here are 10 insects stranger than anything science fiction could ever dream up. Number 10. Pus Moth Caterpillar With their soft bodies and high protein content, caterpillars are usually incredibly vulnerable. To fend off predators, they often resort to scare tactics. Sometimes it's in the form of bright, flashy colors. Sometimes it's in the form of mimicry, looking or acting like another, more dangerous insect. The pus moth caterpillar opts for mimicry, forming a bizarre-looking face that resembles a vertebrate face scary enough to send most curious predators the other way. The caterpillars are bright green and will often have a row of white spots on either side of their body. On the head is a pair of black eye spots directly above a gaping mouth through which the true head of the caterpillar protrudes. The effect is startling, but it's even creepier in action. If the caterpillar is touched anywhere on its body, it will instantly turn its face directly towards the attacker. Touch it somewhere else, and the head follows you like a Mona Lisa from hell. Number 9. Devil's Flower Mantis One of the largest types of praying mantis, the Devil's Flower Mantis, is also one of the strangest, and that's saying a lot when you're talking about praying mantids. Females of the species can measure up to 5 inches 13 centimeters, long and have developed a range of natural coloring that allows them to mimic the devil's flower, a type of orchid. Mantids are predators, and their hunting style usually involves sitting motionless until their prey comes within reach and then whipping their forearms out at lightning speed to snag flies, beetles, even in some cases birds. The devil's flower mantis uses color patterns that mimic a flower to actually lure its prey within reach. Number 8. Brazilian Tree Hopper The image shown here is a model created by Alfred Keller, a German sculptor in the 1950s. But don't let the fact that it's a model fool you. The Brazilian Tree Hopper is definitely a real insect, and it's barely even the strangest looking member of the Tree Hopper family, similar to cicadas. Tree hopper insects are sort of like the Adams family of the insect world. Many of them sport some sort of odd structure on their backs, and we're still not sure what the point of most of them are. In the case of the Brazilian tree hopper, the ball like appendages are hollow chitin and may be for the sole purpose of making it harder to eat. Number 7. Dasakira putabunda caterpillar. Also known as the pale tussock, the Dasakira putabunda is a moth native to Denmark. Its bright yellow caterpillars are covered in patches of spiky hair that resemble porcupine quills, and along the center of their back is another row of hair tufts, one on each segment of the body, culminating in a large black or brown spine at the rear end. From a distance, the caterpillar resembles a sponge, but up close, where you can actually see the double row of mandibles, it's not quite so cuddly. Every now and then, pale tussock populations will explode, resulting in a carpet of these caterpillars covering the trees. In 1988, a wave of pale tussocks demolished 20 hectares of beech forest in Denmark. Number 6. Ecstatosoma tiratum Anybody who's ever seen Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom should instantly recognize this monstrosity, commonly referred to as the giant prickly stick insect. As the largest known stick insect, the Ecstatosoma tiratum can reach lengths of 8 inches 20 centimeters, and is usually covered with large thorny spikes, which double as both camouflage and defensive armor. Most of the time, this insect attempts to blend in with its surroundings, but if it feels threatened, it will rear up on its hind legs and spread out its front legs like a scorpion. Interestingly enough, 
It also releases a chemical that is meant to scare away predators. To humans, it smells like peanut butter. Number five, pipe vine swallowtail caterpillar. Pipe vine swallowtail is a beautiful fluorescent blue butterfly that is commonly found in North and Central America. Its larvae, on the other hand, is an armored congealed blood red caterpillar with tinted visor shades for eyes and a quadruple row of blunt horns running across its body. The caterpillars live in groups while they are young, but over time they will wander off on their own before entering the chrysalis stage. They also change color as they grow, shifting from red to black, while their horns take on a bright orange hue. The bright colors are a warning. Pipe vine swallowtail caterpillars feed primarily on the pipe vine, a poisonous plant, and retain the toxins from the leaves in their own bodies. Number 4. Atlas Moth 800 PX Atticus Atlas QTL1. Most of the time, it's a caterpillar of a moth species that looks the strangest, while the moth itself is drab and uninteresting. Apparently, the Atlas moth didn't get the memo. With a 10 inch, 25 centimeter wingspan, Atlas moths are believed to be the largest moth species on the planet. They also have a very unique trait. The front tips of their wings almost perfectly resemble a snakehead poised to strike. Nicknamed the cobra moth for obvious reasons, atlas moths are found in Southeast Asia where they're farmed for their silk. Number 3. Tailed Emperor Butterfly Caterpillar Take a trip to the east coast of Australia around March or April and you might run into one of these strange creatures. The caterpillar of the tailed emperor butterfly looks pretty normal from the neck down. Its head, though, definitely secures a spot on this list. From a broad, armor-plated forehead extend four bizarre horns that would be more at home on a dinosaur than anything from this millennium. The butterflies lay their eggs in groups, usually on Iliwara flame trees, and the alien caterpillars emerge sometime around late March. Number 2. Spiny Flower Mantis Another incredible-looking mantis, the Spiny Flower Mantis, Pseudocreobotra walbergi, is again a flower mantis, pulling its bizarre ornamentation from the appearance of a flower. This mantis is very small, measuring only 1.5 inches 38 millimeters, and is found in select locations in southern Africa. And, like most mantids, the spiny flower mantis is a voracious cannibal, and the older they get, the more likely they will be to eat other mantids that come across their path. Another interesting fact is that the female's egg sac can be nearly three times larger than its own body. Number 1. Scorpion Fly while this insect looks like the result of some bizarre genetic experiment that spliced a scorpion stinger onto a wasp, that stinger is actually something much more innocuous. The fly's genitals. Nevertheless, it makes for a bizarre looking creature. Scorpion flies, or Mycoptera, can be found all over the world and have been around since the Mesozoic Age. In fact, they're believed to have been the forerunners of most of our modern moths and butterflies, collectively grouped in the Lepidoptera order. If you liked this video, please like, tell your friends, subscribe, and ring the bell icon for more videos like this.